The Bible doesn't endorse the way many people, the media, and financial advisors portray it. Nowhere in scripture are there ideas or suggestions for living a leisure-filled, self-serving life. Scripture truly does overflow with ideas and examples, even characters of the Bible that is relevant to retirement today as it was to life thousands of years ago. We can look at Abraham, who at age 75 was called to leave behind the comforts of everything he knew for an unknown destination. And for many of you, that's what retirement can feel like, this unknown destination. The issue at hand is when people take this time and turn it into a self-centered time rather than a God-centered time. And that's exactly why I'm here, to help provide some direction so you don't waste a bunch of time wandering around like the Israelites trying to figure it out on your own. We want to develop some God-centered direction, and that can start today. No one talks about faith. They talk about getting the asset allocation right, making sure you have the right income. But what about faith? You'll never have it all figured out because God wants you to rely on Him for direction throughout it. There's a major shift that takes place from what other people value to thoughts, ideas, and actions that align you with God's values. As a result, the anxiety or stress you have about money or the financial aspects of retirement tend to go down as instead because you're focusing on not what you think will make it important, but what will make it everlasting. Additionally, people often confuse who they are with what they do. And this can open up the door for the devil to step in and start to take over their retirement. Satan loves to use change to impact people's lives. And so it's important to always keep your focus upward and on God and his plans for you. It's also a blessing that some people never get to experience. It's not a time to be squandered, but rather a time to use our gifts, talents, as well as our body, mind, and spirit to do everything we can to glorify God and enrich his kingdom.